Does anyone know why record speeds are 33 and a third, 45, and 78 RPM? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. When Thomas Edison invented the phonograph in 1877, like an early film camera, it was hand-cranked so that the speed was not standardized. People would simply crank the cylinder at a speed that made the voice sound natural. The music cylinders that were reproduced for Nickelodeons were typically recorded at 120 to 160 revolutions per minute, which would allow two to four minutes of recording time depending on the width of the groove. When Eldridge Johnson and Emil Berliner invented the gramophone disc, they allowed for five minutes of playing time when the disc was rotated at 70 to 80 RPM. In 1925, when Western Electric introduced electrical recording, the disc speed was standardized at 78.26, nominally 78 RPM. That speed was easily reproducible using a standard 3600 RPM motor with a 46 to 1 gear reduction. The electrically recorded discs actually sounded as good at 33 and a third RPM as the older non-electric discs did at 78. However, record companies at that time decided not to release records at 33 and a third so that their discs would still be compatible with the non-electric gramophones and Victrolas that people owned. Shortly after 1925, the Vitaphone system, also developed by Western Electric to add sound for motion pictures, used 16-inch 33 and a third RPM discs that allowed for 11 minutes of recording time, enough for a thousand foot reel of film. Then, in 1948, using the microgroove technology developed by Dr. Peter Goldmark, Columbia introduced a 12-inch 33 and a third RPM record that they called the LP for long playing. They initially marketed these discs to classical music listeners, who could now hear an entire movement of a symphony without having to change the disc. That same year, RCA introduced a 7-inch 45 RPM record that sounded as good or better than the 33 and a third LPs. 45s usually had only one song per side, similar to most of the old 78s. RCA marketed the 45s as being a more convenient size for a single recording, like today's MP3 downloads. By 1950, record companies had stopped releasing 78s, and by 1951, Columbia and most others were releasing both 33 and a third and 45 RPM records. Thanks, Mr. Audio.